What is going on, friends? Jason over here at Cog Hill Farm, and y'all, we have a huge, and I mean huge, like huge, surprise for Moo Man. And it came on an 18-wheeler the other day. That's how big this thing is. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh yeah. You got it. That's what I'm talking about. That's good. All right. We got it. The giant, the giant hairbrush is here. <laughs> and today we are going to install the gigantic hairbrush for Moo Man. I say hairbrush, more like a rubbing pole. This thing's big. It's uh, I'm anxious to see how big it is once we get it in the ground, but this thing is pretty big. But I got a plan because there's no way we can install this thing with Moody all up on us. Uh, just a 1600 pound puppy is uh, no fun to deal with when you're trying to do something like install a giant hairbrush. Good morning, Scott. Look at that tail. Yes, sir, I see it. It looks beautiful. It certainly looks beautiful. All right, so this is what I think I'm gonna have to do. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to feed Moody on the other side of the pasture, kind of like we did in the last video when we moved the hay rings around. I need to move him over there, close off that gate, and that way he'll be separated from us and that will allow us to get this giant totem pole hairbrush installed for him. Nugget, what's up, buddy? We got Moody a giant hairbrush. What do you think? Think he's gonna like it? Yeah, I think he's gonna like it. Listen, this thing it goes in the ground about four foot, it looks like, and it's got like an auger bit on the end, and you just screw it around and around and around and around. Yeah. It's gonna be pretty awesome. It's gonna be pretty awesome, buddy. Good morning, Tip. How you doing, buddy? How's Mildred and the girls? Everybody okay? All right, my man. All right, my man. I don't know how long this thing's gonna take. The only thing that I'm worried about is our hard, rocky soil. Um, we have had some rain last week. And so that really helps a lot. And plus the cooler temperatures also helps a lot. So that means that we are not having any uh, super dry ground. That makes it even way worse. I also got an idea for that. If we start trying to get this thing in the ground and uh, we see we're hitting a snag or it looks like it may not go. I we got the auger bit on the tractor and we may just hit like the first foot or so to break up and see if we can't get it started and see if that way we can get this thing in the ground. Hey buddy, we got a big surprise for you. We do. All right, let's see here. I need to get a bucket and cut the electric fence off and see if I can't get you uh, and your buddy here, Crazy Joe, your twin, who's a hormonal mess right now over to over there okay and then i'm going to take take this blue half bucket here buddy we're going to put you some water in it okay because i just don't know how long it's going to take and i want you guys to have some fresh water i don't want you over there a couple hours with no water so our sweet boy topper over there it doesn't matter with him he's not going he's not going to get in our way like y'all two crazies will all right guys Wish us luck. All right, buddy. Let's get your buckets. Let's get your buckets here. Let's get your feed buckets. Can you hand that one to me? Hmm? Can you help me out and hand that one to me? That's all right, I got it. I'm gonna need this for sure. So I'm gonna set this on this side of the fence. My plan is to walk around 
and hopefully get him to come over there. Right. Once I get him over there, we're good. He won't cross that electric fence. I had somebody ask me, did, uh, did I really think that fence would hold him back? That uh, Premier One electric netting. Now, the Premier One we got is made for cattle and large livestock. And no, he's, he's not going to cross it. It will actually hold him in as big as he is. All right, last time we did this, we did it with the round bales of hay. And it was a it was a little challenging, but this time with the feed, it should be this should go a lot easier. Operation Giant Moody Hairbrush is in motion. Come on, it may have been better going in Nugget side. What do you think? I think I'd have been better served going on Nugget side. I'm gonna run out of real estate here. And again, I'm not afraid of Moody. He is not uh, uh, an aggressive or, you know, he's just not. He's just huge. And he's just a baby. He's just a baby. He is not gonna hurt intentionally anybody. I mean, he's just a big old boy, big old puppy dog. But his size, y'all, his size, he, um, one swing of that big old noggin and he gets excited during feeding time. He could accidentally hurt me pretty good. All right, buddy, let's regroup. Let's go on Nugget side. I think that'd be better. All right, back it up, 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 Nugget. I really don't want you eating the goat feed, Nugget. A couple of bites ain't gonna hurt you. It looks like Nugget's more interested in cleaning off the bottom of my boots than he is to feed, which is awesome. Come on, Nuggo. Good morning, alarm system. How you guys doing this morning, huh? How are y'all doing? Looking beautiful. Hey, Sim Sim, Big C, Humphrey. How you guys doing pickles? I'm gonna set this over on this side over here. Like so. Now, we gotta get over, Nugget. I usually do not like climbing the fence, but I think it'll work. Except I need my camera, Nugget. Hand it to me. That wasn't smart. All right, now we got it made. All right, here's Joe's bucket. All right, I'm gonna get Joe's bucket here and Moody eat out of his big purple bucket. There we go. All right, guys. I hear you, Mildred. I'm gonna go ahead and pour Joe's in. Not sure if Joe's even gonna eat it, but we'll see. Come on, come around this way. Come on, it's this way, boy. Here he comes. There you go, keep coming. There you go, all right, it worked. Joe got his and Moody got his. Come on, Top, we'll get you up here, buddy. Here, you can nibble out of that while I go, while I get this fence fixed. All right. We are good to go. All right, we're looking good. All right, buddy, let me go get you. I know you can't eat out of that. Let's go get you fixed up, okay? Come on, come on. Now, now. All right, now you gonna have a water bucket. All right, buddy, let's get you some water. Let's get you some water. All right, we're gonna let that fill up, sir. I'm gonna get you some hay while that's filling up. You wait right there. Man, I really do. I don't like my guys eating off the ground, but in this situation, 
it's gonna be best. Don't really don't have a. It's just temporary. It's just temporary, buddy. Ugh. All right, your mineral blocks over here. I got you some hay over here. That's why I just don't like my guys eating off the ground. I just don't. And we got your water over here. So you should be good. Let this water fill up and we're gonna get started, buddy. You guys, y'all were right. I'll tell you, when we swapped them hay rings out, I was in kind of a, uh, a little hurry. So I did not pay attention that I had put this wheel on backwards. And you know, it's hard to tell. They look the same on either side pretty much. But I didn't even notice the valve stem not poking out. I didn't notice that this side was real dirty because that was on the inside. But anyways, it's all good. We're gonna get it fixed right now. Ain't none of us perfect. And we all make mistakes, that is for sure. All right, got it done. And there were some of y'all that asked, did the, did the uh, tire guys find anything in the tire? Nothing, and it's still holding air. So I don't know what happened to it, but we got her fixed now. Y'all hear Scott? Scott! It's a little early, Scott, but it's so nice to hear you. I don't want to over torque them. I hear you, buddy. Now we can get the forks put on it and get Moody's gigantic hairbrush moved to the pasture. I'm thinking we could put it here or we could put it over here. Oh, yeah. All right, Top. Go on, cut it open, buddy. What is he doing? Don't tee -tee, don't tee -tee on it. Is that what he's doing? No, I thought that's what he was fixing to do. We don't, we don't need that. So I want to give a huge thank you to Agromatic for giving this easy swing made by Finn Easy. Uh, they are the only distributor, ain't that right, buddy, of the Finn Easy Easy Swing in the United States. And just thank Agromatic so much. They said Moody needed a huge hairbrush, and that's what we got. Yeah, this is hopefully going to keep him out of trouble and <laughs> occupied. Hopefully so. <laughs> topper. 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 <laughs> you know, I said earlier in the video you weren't going to be any trouble. <laughs> that we really didn't have to get you on the other side. He said, I'm telling you, you really don't. <laughs> I can stay I... right here. Oh. So if any of you guys are interested, I'll put the links down below to Agromatic and Finn Easy. And just be sure to check those guys out. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, I got this big. Yeah, this thing's heavy duty. It is heavy duty. I, I can know. already see it's made very well. We don't have to worry about moving it. I don't this think thing he up. can tear it up. No. Right. I don't think he can. Pull that on out. You know whose birthday it is today? Whose? Michael Key. Is it? Yeah. Michael Key is a, a good friend of mine and a high school buddy. So happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday, Mike. And is a big fan of the show. That's right. All right, so that's the brushes. There's the other part. Oh. All right, there's our instructions. And you know what I noticed What'd about you notice? these? What's that? Is that if these brushes were to wear out, I think it's going to take a long time. It is. But you can buy replacement brushes. So you don't have to replace the whole pole. You can just replace the brushes. Which is awesome. Yeah. All right, let's set these brushes over here. I see the sheriff is checking us out, making sure we ain't doing nothing illegal. <laughs> this is all on the up, buddy. Don't worry about it. So I want to ask you guys a question. What do you think Moody's going to do when he sees this totem pole? I reckon how he's going to react. <laughs> I am curious. I wonder if he's going to go straight for it. I think he will. You think so? I think he will. I think so, too. I think he's going to go straight for it and start rubbing all on it. Guess who's being naughty? I know. I see. He's eating the cardboard. Topper. Topper, you're making me eat my words, I said earlier. 
that <laughs> Topper is not going to be any trouble. We don't have to worry about Topper. He's not going to get into anything. Topper's a good boy. Come here, baby. Yeah, come he here. He is a sweet boy now. Give me your love. Well, this thing's heavy, too. It is heavy. Right. Slide it off. So this is the base plate. All right. And that's the auger end I was talking about, how this is going to go down, and we're just going to go around and around and around until we get sick and pass out and um, get this in the ground. You can see how deep it goes. Yeah, there's no moving that once it gets in the ground. No, it is stationary. All right, so we ended up choosing this spot over here because it's more level. All right, so we got the, the hole dug for the base plate, so it's going to sit down in there. And then we're going to put the auger bit in or the auger post or anchor post we're going to put it in now it has this huge bigger hole at the top if you had a piece of pipe or a piece of iron or maybe even rebar that would fit through there you can use that and twist this thing around the pipe i got is just too big to go in there so we're going to use these chains they supply you with right here and i'm going to run my pipe through these chains and that'll work just as well. Moo man, look at Moody. Look, at he knows his name. Y'all see him turn and look at me? <laughs> Hear him? <laughs> We're gonna be done with you here directly. All right? Maybe we ought to make you close your eyes until I get it done. No? Okay. Well, it's gonna be a surprise either way. If I don't get so dizzy and just fall out. Got to do a lot of round and round in here, Moody. They like little hula skirts. I don't think I'd get that around my waist. <laughs> I tell you, they ain't soft. No, they're not. They are not soft at all. All right. There it is. There it is, Top. What do you think, Top? All right. I'm gonna try to test it out. Yeah, real harder than that. What is? What do you think? Let's let him out. Let's let him out. So we got it put in. Our ground is really, really hard. So it took us a good bit longer than I anticipated. But this thing is pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome, and it seems super solid. So we're about to find out if it'll handle a roughly close to 2,000 pound steer. Um, good thing about it that I like about it more than anything is we can take this thing up and relocate it. So as you guys all know, we do plan on building a barn on the other side, what's that other side? Actually right over there of our property on that side where our biggest field is and uh, put the guys over there so we can take this beauty with us. All right, I'm fixing to let him out. Moo man. Moody to hootie. Let's see what you think, brother. All right, the fence is off. I know you've been waiting patiently all day. I'm glad I put your water over. Look how much water he drank, or they drank. Come on, y'all come on. He's like, come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Go check it out, Moody. Come on, go check it out. See what you think. Look at here. It's not to eat, silly. It's to brush on. 
Rub your head on it. Rub your head on it. Try it out. Go on, rub on it. You don't know what to do with it, y'all. There he goes. There he goes. Look. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> he said it's the best day of his life. <laughs> what do you think, Skipper King? <laughs> oh, my gracious. Are your eyes rolling in the back of your head? <laughs> that's what I want to know. Oh, stepping on it kind of scared him a little bit. That's all right. You okay? You ain't got to step on it. You can just rub on it. You can just rub on it. I'm going to tell y'all something funny. It is time to eat for their second meal. And uh, he's not even interested in it. <laughs> you done? You done for now? I gotta go fix the fence. You done? Huh? No. Now check, gonna get your chin, huh? Gonna get your chin. Is this the greatest day of your life? Huh? <laughs> Good gracious. Jason, I must say. Huh? I did not think he was going to come to it immediately. But this boy thinks that he has won the lottery. And it's time to eat. Hey, baby. You love it. Yeah, and we put this out for you. Look at it. Feels good. Yeah. Look at Joe. Oh, my gracious. Joe even likes it. And Topper said, I'm just going to hang out over here. <laughs> I sure am glad you got those boys those yellow flowers because it gives me some peace. <laughs> Look at both of them. <laughs> Joe and Moo. <laughs> oh my gracious. He gets so excited. He gets so excited. I'm going to fix the fence. You guys can continue on. That is awesome, Moody. Moody is a happy camper. And so is He's Jojo. Coming to see you. you like it? Yeah, I know you do. I know you do, buddy. You've been needing that, ain't you? Boy, that's your birthday present. Yeah. That's your birthday present. This time last year is when we got you. It sure is. Uh -oh. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Uh -oh. I tell y'all, Moody may send Agromatic a thank you letter. <laughs> Gracious. Jojo too. What do you think, Jojo? <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. What? I should have done a pole dance. <laughs> Moody took care of that pole dance Ooh, for you. Oh, Moody was pole dancing. He right? was. I did not think he would react that way. I didn't either. I didn't think he'd go to it initially. I thought he was going to have to warm up to it. Yeah, I thought he may have been a little skittish of it. 
and it's feeding time. Yeah. And he didn't, he went straight to the totem pole instead of the feed book. He chose the pole over the. Mm-hmm. Joe got through and look, <laughs> he's, he's courting it. <laughs> look at him. He's doing his little book dance, <laughs> talking to it. He sure likes it. He does. What I want to know is, is, is it going to stop him from flipping the, the picnic table over every day and flipping the hay ring over? Uh, That's what I want to know. Can't guess that. Is he going to spend more time there than he is doing that? Well, I tell you who it looks like he is going to spend more time over there. Joe? <laughs> well, it... It don't smell like a new car no more. No, it doesn't. After Joe's been on Poor it. Poor Moody's <laughs> gonna have a smell now. Here it goes, here it goes. Let's see what he does. He gonna run to it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. That was funny. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> you can hear him scrub. Uh-huh. I think we better plug him up. What do you think? Yeah, we need to plug him up. All right, baby boy, there you go. Now, hope y'all have a good night. Don't stay up too late rubbing on the pole.